my mind would just spin in circles. It's just this everyday heaviness, this sadness that you can't run from. Christina and her husband Carmine were married a year and a half when they welcomed their daughter Roman to the world. It should have been one of the most joyous times of their lives, but it soon became clear that something was wrong with Carmine. He said that he had these headaches, and I just remember like when he used those words of, can you just make Roma like stop crying? It's, it hurts. It, um, because if you knew Carmine, you know that he, he really wanted a family and he was so happy to have, to have Roma. And he loved her very much, like when she was born and up until about a month and a half, it was just pure, like pure joy and pure bliss. Carmine went to the doctor, but his headaches were dismissed as stress related and he returned home. The headaches only worsened in the coming days until one night Christina woke to the smell of something burning on the stove. She went downstairs to investigate and that's when Carmine had a seizure. It all happened so fast and I sat myself in his lap to try to control like his body movements. Christina quickly called 911. However, by the time Carmine got to the hospital, it was too late. He had suffered a severe brain abscess that caused massive swelling and bleeding. The doctor said there was nothing they could do, and he was taken off life support. I, I knew that when I left the room, it would be the last time that I'll see him. And um, I walked down the hallway. I just I was felt so alone. The pain of losing Carmine was overwhelming for Christina. The love of her life was gone and she now had to raise Roma on her own. I felt unequipped. I felt nervous and, and mad and angry that I had to do this on my own. Like, why me? What have I done? I literally just had a baby and we were just starting our family life together and it was just taken from me. All of those thoughts and questions flooded my mind every single day. I was raised in a Christian home and my faith was always pretty strong. Um, but it wasn't until Carmine passed away that I really leaned on God more than I ever had before. Christina prayed that God would help her and turn to encouraging verses in the Bible whenever oppressive thoughts entered her mind. I've seen people within my own family turn away from God, and I've seen firsthand what that looks like. And I did not want Roma to see me fall into that. And I have to show her what it looks like to trust God. But I chose to read my Bible and read what God said and trust that He was going to provide me with the love that I needed to get me through. For the next two years, Christina struggled with the persistent grief that weighed on her heart. But then something slowly began to change within her. I think that I had just come to this realization within my spirit I w that was, uh, God wants to see me happy again. There's, there is joy. I know there's joy somewhere. I felt that I was ready to find that joy. Some of her heaviness began to lift as she took Roma to New York to visit a friend. While attending a local church, she met the worship leader, Alan. The thought of falling in love again never crossed my mind. I had become so close in my relationship with Jesus. I was, I was good. When I first met Alan, I noticed, I, I noticed that there were uh, feelings there, but a part of me was, I can't do that. I felt guilty because in my mind and in my heart, I was, I was still married to Carmine. But as she prayed, Christina realized that God was opening up her heart to this opportunity, the chance to love and be loved by someone again. 
And then Roma did something that helped confirm those feelings. Roma doesn't give high fives to anybody, and she gave him a high five, and that was a pretty big deal. <laughs> Christina and Alan eventually married and moved to California. Together, they've had two daughters, Brooklyn and Virginia. Along with Roma, the five of them have found peace and immense joy, which Christina credits all to God, answering her prayers. God has been really good through the whole entire journey of, of my grief. He brought Alan into my life, and Roma loves him like he's her dad. And it's very special because she says all the time, I have a daddy in heaven that loves her. But she also has a daddy here that loves her just as much. Choosing to trust God doesn't take away your circumstances, but choosing to trust God does provide you everything you need to get through it. And that's exactly what he did for me.